There are four main study designs that we look at as part of the standard. These are polls, surveys, experiments and observational studies. The conclusions we can make and how we talk about each study are slightly different, so it's important to be able to identify the different study designs. Polls and surveys are very similar and they ask a sample of people questions to determine the opinion distribution for a poll or a population parameter for a survey. A population parameter is a number representing a property of a population, for example the mean, median, a proportion, etc. An opinion distribution is the proportion of the population that has each opinion, for example the proportion of people planning on voting for each political party. Polls typically have very few questions and are multi-choice only. Surveys have many questions and may have branches and skips. They may have tick multiple box questions and may have open-ended writer comment questions. An experiment, while the term is more general, in this standard refers to a study in which a researcher attempts to understand the effect that a variable, an explanatory variable, may have on some phenomenon, the response, by controlling the conditions of the study. In an experiment, the researcher controls the conditions by allocating individuals to groups Ideally, they should be doing this randomly and giving each group different conditions or different values for the explanatory variable. The different condition is called the treatment. By randomly putting people into groups, this attempts to make the characteristics of each group very similar to each other so that if each group was given the same treatment, the group should respond in a similar way, on average. An experiment will usually have a control group which is a group that receives no treatment or receives an existing established treatment. This allows any differences in the response, on average, between the control group and the other groups to be visible. When the groups are similar in all ways apart from the treatment received, then any observed differences in the response, if it's big enough, among the groups, is said to be caused by the treatments. Experiments are the only study where a causal claim can be made. Observational studies are studies in which a researcher attempts to understand the effect a variable may have on something, but the researcher cannot control the conditions in the study. The researcher can observe what is going on, but cannot control what is happening. Because the groups in the study are just made by what happened to happen, and not by randomization, there may be other variables as well that are influencing which group people end up in. Therefore, causal claims cannot be made as the differences could just be due to the makeup of the groups.